Hey, this is Mount So we're going to do a relationship read. So we're going to read for, I'm going to pull a spread for a relationship in separation. We're going to get some energy cards just to see what comes. Why are you crying? Who's crying? What the fuck? One minute. Sorry about that, my dog just came up the stairs crying. One of my dogs, I've got four. <laughs> what are you messing about at? Right, let's see what we get. So we've got, I feel you even though we are apart in reverse. We have, I can't stop thinking about you. I regret lying to you. I left when I seen you, or when I saw you with someone else. Okay, let me throw them ones up there. So you're really playing on the mind anyway. Whoever this is, you're really playing on the mind. Possibly not for the best reason, so. Um, and it's weird because the vibe I got when I when I seen I regret lying to you and I can't stop thinking about you and I left when I saw you with somebody else. That feels to me like this was mate. Something's come about in a tit for tat, a tit for tat situation. Like they may have done something you found out and because they've done something and you found out you've done something in retaliation. It feels a little bit like that, but we'll see. We'll see, it could change. So we have Temptation, we have Twin Flame in Reverse, Sacral Chakra and Apology, Sacral Chakra, <laughs> Sacral Chakra Healing, and the Sacral Chakra is about relationships, emotions, sensitivity, like sexuality, pleasure, creativity and stuff like that. Um, Was somebody tempted away from a connection? Don't start, Boris. It feels to me like somebody was tempted away from a connection. I feel like someone was tempted away from a connection, but they were tempted. You, I feel like you may have been aware of it. I feel like they may have done like the dirty on you and you've been aware of it. Uh, you found out, basically, maybe they've gone off with this other person. So this is the energy that I'm kind of feeling now. So it's like, almost like they've gone off with this other person. And um, they thought it was the twin flame. They thought this person was their twin flame. They thought this person was going to be their happy ever after. It was a false twin. This card came in reverse. I feel like they've gone off with somebody that presented as their everything. It they presented as a part of their soul and they, they felt like that kind of connection, that kind of pull to them. And I feel like this was a false flame. Everything was presented, but nothing was what, we, what it seemed. And that's the kind of energy that I get with it. So the temptation, they, 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 they literally bit the apple. They went with the temptation. It was a false twin flame. They're wanting to relate. They may have been wanting to... Um, Upon realising this, they may want it to come back and heal the relationship with you. I feel like they may want it to come back and try and reconnect with you in some way. And perhaps in doing so, even apologise, they may see that you've moved on. 
they may have come somewhere to see you or they may have gone out and you may have been there they may have seen you with somebody else and they, they didn't come forward to you they didn't they thought you they took it that you've moved on and that you wouldn't be there was no point it's almost like they feel like there was no point that they'd just be disturbing you or something like that let's see, see if we can get one of these so we've got hourglass situations that revolve around waiting, awareness of passing time, deadlines, running out of time, wasting time, the need for patience. I don't know if you're still interested in this person, actually. I don't know if you are still interested in this person at all. And I feel like... If this was a twin flame to you or a soulmate to you and you were interested in getting back together despite what they've done. It could be something that could come back together, but it's not something that's going to come back together quickly. It's not something that I feel like it's it's going to be like kind of perhaps if you if you. Um, if you. The chase. So if you went after them, if you went chasing after them, or if you went like kind of trying to pursue something with them, it would happen a lot sooner. I feel like if you don't make the move, it's almost like if you don't make the move, they're not going to anytime soon. Doesn't mean that they don't want to. It's that they're going to go off your lead, and if you aren't making a move, they're going to feel like you don't. You're not interested. You're not interested anymore. So we've got boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. And then we've got the chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. <sighs> this could actually have been a false flame to you as well. But I feel like they were tempted away. They were tempted away anyway. Something has happened because it says I feel you even though we're apart. So I feel like you've pulled back your energy from this person. And, and what, you know when you're with someone and you like sometimes you can just be thinking like and then you just message each other at the same time and stuff like that. And you, you've got that kind of connection, that, that kind of energy connection to each other. I feel like you may have pulled that right back from this person. I feel like when they've done what they've done, you have just withdrawn. You've just pulled it back. Um, I feel that they've lost that energy connection to you. You may have even done a cord cutting because I feel like this person probably took the piss and really hurt you. And you may have done a cord cutting, so you may have like physically, actively removed that cord, that energetic pull that you had to this person. I feel like you did have a very strong pull to this person, a very strong cord with this person. So this could actually be your genuine twin flame. But you know... You know what twin flame relationships are like anyway. Oh, I'd hope you do. Like, it's it's the runner chase that aspects of it can go on forever and a day. And it's just like, it can just, it's, it's a whole lot of messing about. And not everybody's up to it. Not everybody can be arsed with it, to be honest. I think, I, I don't feel like I could be arsed with it. Putting up with a load of shit and just having someone that is like, basically, f mentally abused. It's almost like a mental abuse, but it's not. It's a mental. It's almost like a mental abuse because it's triggering in such a bad way. It's so triggering to you because you're just mirroring each other and you're just bouncing off each other and you're just highlighting because you've been through so many similar things. You are just highlighting each other's insecurities and it is fucking torture. <laughs> it is mental torture. It is not for the faint-hearted. And a lot of people, regardless of what the connection could be, just can't cope with that because it's not like, oh... Right, we're twin flames, we'll break up once and we'll come back together. This could go, you, you might not even see them for 20 odd years and then get back together and then fall apart again. So it's like it's you're waiting for both parties to grow up in a situation like that. And it's like the boat could always be getting, the literal boat could always be getting missed um, with, with the opportunities 
for people to grow and come together in a grown state. It can be, um, oh, it could be just never ending. Just a never ending um, pile of poo. I wouldn't, I wouldn't partake in it anyway. If it's twin flame situation like that. I wouldn't partake in anything like that. Not now. Not got the patience for it, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna start sneezing. And I was gonna start sneezing. <laughs> I think I'll go with a Sufi. Sufi wisdom card. You can't even see 